I just spent the morning at the Arts and Crafts Store, and I love the Arts and Crafts Store because everything's so organized and affordable. They're just bankrupting craft moms everywhere. And it's just really easy to get in and out of that place quick. Is this the cheapest one? So the reason we put ourselves through all that today is we have to do some research and development. We need to develop the technology to print stickers like this one because we're restoring bike parts on flip bike. Sometimes you scrape the old sticker off, sand everything down, repaint it, and then we need to print one out to replace it and make it look like new. And so I got some printable vinyl, I've got an inkjet printer, and I've got this thing that's supposed to be able to cut and it's stickers. I've also got this thing that's supposed to be able to cut it into stickers, so if this works really well, I'll probably return that. Yeah, I guess today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different, but kind of the same. So for any of you young kids, um, this is a printer. It looks like 1998. I thought the next printer I got was gonna be a 3D printer, but no. Okay, so that this makes sense, I'm gonna do this in stages. So let's start by just trying to make like a decal for this fork. So it's six inches long. It looks like I have an SR Suntour logo right here. Make a couple of them. So let's say all you have is an inkjet printer. You can take printable vinyl and let's print it. Doesn't look half bad. So now everything I'm reading about this, it's like make sure the ink dries. So we're gonna do a couple of tests here and see what we gotta do. Let's cut one of them out of here. The scissor comes in. This could get old real fast, but what these computerized vinyl cutters cost, I don't know, maybe I could get used to it. That took me about 10 minutes and it doesn't look that great. I'm gonna be perfectly honest, but it feels like a sticker. It feels like a good quality sticker. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look that great. Um, the other thing I'm worried about with this is, is it weather resistant? So now let's expose it to some weather. So far, so good. Yeah, at a certain point, the water resistance is not enough. So if I were to sell a flip bike with this, I'd be doing them pretty dirty. But I bought something that's supposed to make it water resistant. So let's give it a try. All right, so this is an acrylic coating, UV resistant clear. They told me that I could put this on it and it'll make it water resistant. Is it like greasy brush resistant? We're gonna find out. The question is, did that coating make it more durable? Let's stick this to the fork and give it hell. Wow. I actually got some grease on it from the brush and now I'm like rubbing the grease off of it. No fading. Okay, so the first part of the technology we have developed. We found a way to make durable stickers. You just gotta put a whole bunch of coats of that acrylic on it. I'm actually really impressed. I didn't expect it to work that well. So to review where we're at right now, if you have an inkjet printer, you can just buy this stuff on Amazon, spray acrylic over it, and you're making stickers. But the cutting is challenging, and that's what I got this vinyl cutter for. Now the question is, is the software any good? The file type you were attempting to access is not supported. What, a, a vector? Okay, that's not good. Let's see if it accepts this type of file. It really looks like this software was made like 15 years ago. Okay, so I bring the logo in and it comes out not the right color and way bigger than the page. Sweet. Can I change the size of it? Can I, can I click it? So none of this crap works? Oh, I hate crappy software. Okay, let's try and make this smaller. 
Oh, wow. Okay, that worked. This software is not that bad. I did save like 150 bucks on this thing. Now, how do I know it's going to cut this out? Like, I just re like refuse to look at instructions because people make crappy instructions. You click on a video and it's like 40 minutes long. If I can figure it out in 38 minutes, then it's not worth watching the video. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna send it. So we put this in the back, right? That would make sense. Oh, so how do I know it's lined up? Let's send it. Nah, that's not working. It's pretty clear this is wrong. Wrong. I think we gotta read some instructions. Load your printed material into the silhouette. If you had selected to use a cutting mat in the software, you must use a cutting mat. The mat or material is placed in the upper left corner. Need to have their cut lines turned on in the send panel. How is anybody using this? There's no way this is gonna work. I don't, like, I don't know where to freaking put it in. So now I'm gonna press send. Okay, so it's gotta find the registration marks. So it's trying to figure out where everything is. That's good. Registration failed. What the hell? All right, uh, I'm gonna look in the comments section. Ah, okay. If you were following this video and about to take a hammer to your machine because it isn't cutting your design. All right, I like this guy. It is because this video completely omits the crucial step of using the trace tool to create a cut line around your image. Okay, let's guess. The trace tool is the one that looks like a sharp, like a Sharpie, or maybe an X-Acto knife. The trace tool is the one that looks like a piece of toast. Okay. Well, at least they made it really intuitive. Okay, this does kind of look like a piece of toast. Open the trace panel. Okay, I think that's it. So here is our sheet, and as you can see, there's a little square up there. There's this little corner mark in both corners. That tells the machine where everything is. So now we're gonna put it on the cutting mat. The cutting mat is kind of sticky and just push it down onto the sticky stuff. And I gotta say, the quality of the print, I'm really, really happy with. It's as good as any sticker that I've bought from the store or gotten. So now we line it up here and we just feed it. So now it's in there. I'm gonna press the send button and hope for the best. So right now it's reading the marks and it succeeded. So you can see it cutting now. Now to make things simpler, I made it so that it's just cutting all the way through the paper. But once we get this dialed in, it can do what's called a kiss cut. And that is where it just cuts through the sticker paper and leaves the backing so we can peel them off like a sticker. All right, let's cancel this. This is no good. Like, it's almost four o'clock. Since 10 o'clock this morning, we've been trying to figure out how to do this. Yeah, so one of the stickers worked. I gotta figure out where I went wrong here, but it looks like we got one sticker. One of them worked. Yeah, we got one sticker. So now I've gotta figure out how to replicate that. It cut it out way better than I can. There's no question about that. These little cuts in here, I wouldn't have had a prayer. Okay, cool sticker. Now we've got to make a few adjustments here. First of all, I gotta figure out how I did this. This sticker worked and this one didn't. The other thing is I can still see white around here and so I've gotta figure out the bleed. I gotta figure out how to make the cut lines a little over the ink so that it comes out edge to edge like a real sticker. So. Try number 347. This is gonna be the moment of truth. I got a whole sticker sheet here. I'm gonna try and kiss cut them. Okay. If this doesn't work, no, I'll return it. I was gonna throw it out the window, but I'm gonna return it. Let's see what it's doing. Oh, this looks good. This looks really promising. Maybe a couple little adjustments. I see some white spots there, but this is, this is stuff we can deal with here. I think that's it. I think it's done. I must say, I have a newfound respect for TikTok moms because this is very complicated. Okay, the backing was not cut. That's a good sign. 
I'm gonna peel it very carefully. Okay, so if this worked the way it was supposed to, it just cut through the sticker. It didn't cut through the back of the paper. So check it out. <laughs> it's freaking perfect. Look at that. You wanna know the icing on the cake. Before I put that paper in there, I took the acrylic spray and did the entire paper. And so these are already sealed. This is the most complicated thing I've ever done in my entire life. You either need a degree in engineering or you need to be a TikTok mom. Those are the only ways that you can learn to use this. Now we have the technology. looks cool as hell. If you just have an inkjet printer and a scissor, you can do this, but you can't kiss cut it like this and try cutting a circle with a scissor. It's more difficult than you might think. So that was a pretty big success. It's the end of the day. It took us all day to figure out how to print stickers, but I am really stoked. I guess I'm gonna keep the vinyl cutter. Now when we're doing flip bike episodes, I can just strip everything right down to the metal and just make it look like factory again. If you wanna make your own stickers, I can't recommend anybody does this, it's too hard. This is the cost of learning. You have to keep trying things and failing at them and each time you just get a little bit closer. But now we're armed with knowledge. Hope you enjoyed learning with us today and thanks for riding with me today. I'll see you next time. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick them to everything now. Woohoo!